In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the filter in this synthesizer, Crystal Synth, as well as the filter envelope. And then I'm also going to cover how to use the LFO and mod envelopes over here. If you need an introduction prior to this level, please watch my previous tutorial on Crystal Synth. A filter is like a screen door. It keeps the leaves from entering the house, but allows the fresh air in. So in this case, we just have to determine what that air will be. In this case, it is frequency. What we have to understand about a sine wave is that it has no overtones, no extra harmonics. So what we want to do is we want to have a more complex wave shape. So under oscillator, I'm going to go ahead to where it says synthesize, and I'm going to select saw square. So now we have a sound that will allow a filter to be used. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the filter and I'm just gonna go ahead and select the first one, the extreme resonant low pass. In order to use a filter, we make sure that we have a filter cutoff, which is this frequency cutoff right here. I'm gonna sweep it back and forth while I play so you can hear the effect on the sound. So the way that the filter frequency works is anything that is below the threshold passes through and anything above the threshold is cut off. So if I move it to the far right, I hear higher harmonics. If I move it to the left, I'm going to hear only the lower harmonics. Now that's all fine and dandy. That right there is our filter frequency. There also is a resonance level right here in which we can actually add uh, a brilliance to the cutoff point. It's often called Q, the letter Q, as you sometimes see in other synthesizers. Let's try the resonance. That's, for me, I describe it as a scintillating sound that's right at the cutoff point. Now, saturation in crystal is very much like adding a tube distortion to the sound. Just like we use the amplitude envelope, we're going to use an envelope, but for the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead where it says copy and select flat four, and I'm going to pull this down here. Remember our scale feature, scale this out here, move this over to the right. And now what we're gonna expect is to hear the filter turn itself on and sustain. And then when I release my finger from the keyboard, we should hear the filter turning itself back off again. So filter turning on, filter turning off. And now I can play with the release of the amplitude envelope and the release of the filter envelope so that they make sense with each other. And that's a very simple introduction on how to use the filter and the filter envelopes in Crystal. Let's take a look at the second idea for today. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And what this is, is this is a very slow moving signal. We don't use it for sounds, but we use it as a control feature to control something else. So the easiest way that I've found explaining an LFO is to do the most drastic kind of change. So let's check this out. First of all, in LFOs, you see I have the first LFO engaged. We have six LFOs to play with. Now I'm going to go over to the modulation matrix, and under source, I'm going to select LFO 1. And a target, I'm going to voice 2. I want to change the pitch so that you can really clearly hear what's going on. Now immediately you'll see that the LFO is active and you'll see this little ball bouncing back and forth. So as I play the pitch, you'll hear it now moving up and down. Right, without the LFO. And now we turn the LFO back on again. We can increase the rate of the LFO. Now LFOs are fun because not only can you change pitch of something, you could do something like change the level or the amplitude. 
and let's change the low and a high. Lovely sound. Let's make it polyphonic so we can play chords. Lovely, right? Last but not least, let's take a look at how to use the mod envelope up here. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at our mod envelope one here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the arpeggio. And you notice instead of a straight line, there are these flat lines. And right now we're not engaging the mod envelope at all. But I would like to get mod envelope one down here under, under our source, mod envelope one, scroll down. There's mod envelope one. And let's go ahead and again, let's do something very drastic so you can hear the effect immediately. Let's go to voice three and change the pitch. So this envelope is called an arpeggio. So we'll start at a high pitch, go to medium pitch, go to a low pitch, back up to the medium pitch and a high pitch again. Let's listen. You'll also notice one thing. We can loop envelopes and we can also sync them. Let's talk about looping in just a second. Looping will follow the route of the envelope and then go right back to the beginning again, excluding the release information and start all over again. If I take the loop off, I only have the arpeggio for a period of time and it doesn't loop itself again. Syncing feature is locked into the tempo of your DAW, your digital audio workstation. So if you're using FL Studio or Ableton or Logic or some other DAW, there would be a connection there. So right now I'm at 120 beats a minute. I'm gonna loop it so we can hear this effect. And I'm gonna change the tempo to something slower, to 90. And let's change it back to 120 again. So there we have it. Uh, a very simple way of using a mod envelope, a very simple way of using the LFOs, and also an introduction to filters.